Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Uranium. So, I have to start off with a little bit of confession here, which I'm not, which the confession is I'm not actually clicked on the screen. Oop, and there we go. Uh, Alright, the confession is, I lost the save data for this game, so I had to go back through and redo everything in order to get all of these Pokemon now. Uh, and now they're a little bit stronger than they were. I did do the training up that I said I was going to do before, uh, at, well, you know, before the save pod got deleted. Uh, they do have different natures, some of them have different abilities. I don't know if, I, if Dixie originally had Anger Point or not. He still has Flame Body in that has Analytic. I don't remember what it had beforehand, but the point is, I had to re-go through the game and bring it all back to them. Oh, that's right, you can actually see their, uh, EVs and IVs, can't you? Yeah, I remember that. Alright, those are... Oh, no, that's... Oh, no, the IVs are those ones there. Okay. Which means that you have some very good stats. And that thing has a lot of defense and speed. So yeah, I forgot that they actually had that in this game. Either way, that's a cool thing. Uh, second thing I have to mention is that the audio for the microphone is being a little wonky right now. For some reason, it's doing a weird crackly kind of noise in it. I don't know why. Uh, if I could figure out how to stop that, I would. But for right now, it's probably just going to be an issue of just... I don't have to have this thing playing as loud, because as long as it's quiet, it's really not noticeable. But anyways, though, here we are at the place. I didn't actually talk to her, so she's still outside. So if we need, you know, get a tour of the Pokemon Center, we can still do that. But, you know, she's out here now. But uh, the point is, we're going to be heading out to here. Also, because I had to go back through and re-grab all the proper Pokemon, we're no longer in Nuzlocke mode. But I'm still going to be running this as if it was in Nuzlocke mode. But yeah, so we can continue on over here. There's a guy right here. There's an item down here. I want to get that item. Ah, okay. Thought I could get the item before he would notice me. But apparently, that just doesn't happen. It's Hiker Larry. He's got a Mankey as well. Oh, well. I'll show you my Mankey if you show me yours. Both female Mankeys, too. Very interesting. Yeah, so... We're going to swap back, swap over to Neon. Neon can typically take this guy. Take this fool pretty easily. And Low Kick's only going to do neutral damage with the stabs, so it's not... It's not too great. And then we have Gust, so that we're going to completely destroy it. Like that. So, as part of this game, I don't actually have any clue what, when, what is, oh, it's the, it's the rock thing, I think. I don't have any clue when Pokemon actually evolve in this game. And I don't know if Primate happens to have, like, another evolution or something like that. I, I'm sure some, there's something there, but I don't know. But yeah, I don't know when these guys evolve. I don't know what they really evolve into. I don't know, like, anything about this game. And that's really exciting, because, you know... I know so much about Pokemon games, it's really rare for me to get into a Pokemon game and be like, alright, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, sure, I'll trade numbers with you. So, yeah, that's why I'm really excited about playing this game, that's why I took the time to, you know, remake my save file, because I wanted to play this so bad. And, you know, the only reason I'm recording right now, which is about at, ooh, 10.21 in the morning, is because I had... I have like an hour before I go to classes and every, well, two hours, because typically you wake up at about like 10-ish. But yeah, I have probably about an hour of recording time before I have to go to class, so we're going to do that. And hey, this is our first encounter for the route. It is a, a barrel. I can finally actually know what the heck uh, type these things are. I'm pretty sure they're steel fighting, or steel, uh, steel rock. That definitely probably confirms it there, because it looks like it's definitely a steel rock type of some sort. All right. We're going to be a little bit risky, because I'm just assuming it's a Steel Rock type. Uh, we're going to send out Charmadillo, and we're going to have... We're going to try to go for Ember. Hopefully it's not... Well, now it's just hardening. I wish you could have gotten yourself a bit more special defense, but whatever. So this should do neutral damage if I'm right. If I'm wrong, I don't get a Bravo. Borrow. Alright. I think I'm right then. And it gets burned. That's, like, even better. So let's see. We're going to go with bag, Pokeball, and throw out the Pokeballs. I also had to rebuy some items, too. I made sure to use all my money so that I didn't have, like, anything left over like I did before. And so we have a bunch of items now. Uh, also, I'm doing something a little bit more clever this this time, this recording. The Iron Sphere Pokemon, so yeah, it's a Steel Rock. I'm keeping a timer so that I know when I'm supposed to be done, because originally it was just, I'm going to be done whenever I'm done, and I cut the video into 15-minute segments. Now I have 15-minute segments, so I can actually properly, like, you know, queue off and everything. It's good. Uh, this is going to be Sex ba -bomb, Which is in reference to... Um, 
Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Just because I, I like the name and it looks like a bomb, and I'm like, alright, that works. So let's check out this thing's stats. I don't I don't know what they uh, what they have at all. I know nothing about this sexpa bomb. So let's see. It's mild nature. Sturdy. Okay, so it does have sturdy. That's that's useful. That's like a free switch in if I need to. Just to take an attack that I really don't want to take. Uh, okay, this thing's got a high special defense and special attack right now and a good bit of HP. That's nice. And its thing increases its defense, so that'll counteract the special defense that it, ha that it has more of. And if it's about the same, that'll be cool. Only has tackle and harden. Alright, so it's nothing too fancy. Um, I think I want to go heal up, though, just so I can actually use Sex Bomb. I mean, there's nothing I can really use it you know, against, except for if I was to run into that... We'll, we'll run into that, actually, that grass real quick once we uh, heal up. And try to see about fighting, you know, something. Because if I can get one of the flying types or the uh, or the chipmunks, then I should be fine. Because, you know, it's going to be resistant to everything I can possibly throw at it. Throw at him. But, uh, if it's a manky, we definitely don't want to be fighting that. Well, depends on the manky. Well, no, we probably don't want to do either way. Manky doesn't get the low kick until level 5. So if it's one lower than level 5, I think Sex Bomb can take it. But, uh, I'd rather not. It. Well, the problem with that one at that point is it's just going to be a long, drawn-out fight. And that's just not fun for anybody. But let's let's try to get him some experience here real quick. Cub Bug. Okay, he can he can fight a Cub Bug, right? She? That's right, it's a girl. It's weird. It has a freaking tail, too. It's going to use String Shot. Okay, now slow me down even more. That's, that's probably going to help you out, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good bit of damage. We'll, we'll, we'll beat this thing up. And it's going to use Charm. Alright, so now this is going to be a stall fight if I've ever seen one. Because, yeah, that's that's just going to take forever. It's now going to take even longer. Yeah, we're, we're just going to swap into something else. Yeah, let's just let's just go to Dixie. Dixie can fight it. Because it's safe to assume it's... It shouldn't end up doing another charm, right? No, it's going to be a string shot now. Okay, that's fine. Dixie can be a little bit slow. Uh, in my process to restart this, by the way, I ended up catching a male one, and I named it Diddy. So I have that saved in my box. Because I was like, alright, if I can't find this female one, at least I have a male one to use. But I ended up finding a female one shortly after that was about the same level that I had Diddy trained up to at the time. So I was just like, alright, I will just use that one. Or I'll just use the level 5 one then. Dixie will work. Okay, so yeah. He should be fine. It should, uh, sex bomb bomb should be fine, you know, fighting things. Hopefully. Okay, so there's this thing. I'm pretty sure it's a ground type. This Grozzard. So, I don't want to keep sex bomb in on that. And I don't think sex bomb can actually, you know, run away properly. We'll switch into... Oh, okay. It has freaking arena trap. Oh my god. That's... Okay, that's just unfair. Okay, so basically, we don't want to have Sex Pokemon out, really, it looks like, because, uh, Arena Trap, because this thing just takes the place of a frickin' Diglett, and she's gonna keep growling. Well, now we gotta sit here and, you know, potentially lose Sex Pokemon, because I bet this thing's gonna have a ground-type move at some point, or it's just gonna keep growling us, I don't actually know. I hate Arena Trap so much. Why do they have to be right here in the beginning state, beginning area? Sand attack, so now I'm going to be less likely to hit it, and this is going to take even longer than it already was going to. And it's just going to keep growling me. Alright, maybe it doesn't have an attacking move. Maybe, you know, I'll be fine. However, though, if I can't hit it, then we have a problem. Oh, God. I hate sand attack. I hate growl. I hate arena trap. All of the things I could potentially hate just sitting here in this little freaking lizard thing. And it just keeps using sand attack too, and I can't switch out to get rid of this of the freaking accuracy drop either. And I don't have like a dire hit to increase my accuracy. And it's just gonna keep growling me, so I can't actually hurt him that well that much. Just have to hope for freaking RNG up the ass here. And so, but well, while well, I'm here. Uh, by the way, if you want to see more Pokemon content from me and some of my friends, or one of my friends anyways, you gotta follow her on Tumblr. Who knew? Uh, 
yeah, if you want to see more Pokemon content from me and one of my friends, then you should go check out the main channel, where me and Robbie are currently playing some Pokemon Blue Mystery Dungeon. Which is, you know, pretty fun. We're, we're really enjoying ourselves. Okay, so we should definitely probably not have him out. Well, actually, I mean, that wasn't that bad. Like, I feel like, you know, one, that thing's not, you know, the most, un or most common thing there. I don't think I could go in there. I'm gonna try anyways. Yeah, see, there's a Tonami. So this thing is a poison flying type. It's essentially just a Zubat, but I call it Patamon because it looks like, you know, a Patamon from Digimon. But, um, yeah. Uh, back to what I was saying, though. Back on the other, on the main channel, me and Robbie are playing Pokemon Mystery, no Blue, Mystery no Blue Mystery Dungeon. And it's pretty fun. We, we were enjoying ourselves. So, if you want more Pokemon content, you can go see that. If not, you'll just have to wait for more episodes to come out of my lovely, lovely Pokemon Mystery Dun or Pokemon Uranium. I'm stuck on Mystery Dungeon now. Come on, use Poison Gas. Yes! See, it starts with Poison Gas. This was actually the thing I picked up on my first playthrough. Was I got one of these things. And I was kind of excited, you know, because I really like the, uh... I really like Poison types. They're my favorite type in, in games. And pe Sex with Bomb leveled up. Awesome. Please tell me you learn, like, some other move. No? Okay. Yeah, no, I didn't think I'd be able to run up in there. <sighs> See, I would run away. But the problem is... I guarantee this thing's faster than me, and there's nothing you can do, so it's just free experience with Sex Bomb at this point. And I can continue telling, talking about things that are going on. So, uh, you know, let's just go with some stories or something while we're fighting all these frickin' Tonames, and I still have, oh, about three and a half minutes left in this episode anyways. Uh, well, I've started playing a lot of a board game. It's, well, not board game, I should say. It's more of a card game, but it's, you know, comes in a box, and it's basically a board game. It is Sentinels of the Multiverse, which is really fun. You know, it's a game where you sit around and you and some of your friends play uh, heroes. And your goal is to beat, beat the villain that you're fighting. Oh, look at Dunsparce. That's right, Dunsparces are in this cave. I forgot about that one. Yeah, alright, we're not going to bother fighting that, though. But, yeah, you guys play a uh, superhero. And, you know, you get to pick your superhero that you want to play. They got a bunch of cool ones. They got Tachyon, which is basically like the Flash. And, you know, I like him. He's, he's cool. Very cool. Yep, nope, nope, that's... Well, that's probably gonna be fine anyways. He's not gonna be able to do anything. Or she, sorry. Tachyon's a girl, actually. My bad. <laughs> Just... It's hard to do things and also talk at the same time, in case you don't know that. So I'm trying to do that right now, and it's... Yeah, it's really difficult. Uh, they got Absolute Zero, which is like this cool guy who uses... Who damages himself to deal damage to other people or heal himself. It's really weird, and I like playing him. But yeah, you get cool heroes like that, and then there's villains that you have to fight, and you pick a location, yada yada yada. Basically, it's a really fun game, and I've really been enjoying playing it. And then also, uh, I also picked up an expansion for it that should be coming in today, which I'm really excited about. It's one where it adds time travel locations and stuff to it, which, which should be, you know, really fun. It adds, like, two new heroes, four new villains, and, like, two more locations. So I'm really excited about it. But yeah, either way, it's a fun game. Highly recommend it to anybody who wants to play it. Uh, you know, it's not it's not cheap. It's it's a full price, like, you know, board game and everything. I think it's like 40 bucks for the base edition. And there's Rook City with, and Infernal Relics, which is another, like, 40 bucks to spend. But the one I bought was, like, 16 on Amazon, so. I didn't feel too bad about it, and I'm sure people will enjoy playing it. So that's why I was like, alright, I'll do that. Alright, looks like we're doing pretty good so far. All of our Pokemon are getting pretty... Pretty swole. Gotta get Sex with Bomb back out there though, because Sex with Bomb is the lowest, and Sex with Bomb needs to train. And if we didn't get an encounter every two steps in here, that would be great. <sighs> Alright, so my goal is to get out of this cave, and then I think we're gonna be done with the episode. Just because that's probably about the time that I'll be. I'll even make sure to stop the timer while I'm sitting here mashing the uh, enter button. Cancel. There we go. There we go. I canceled the timer, guys. It's not going to go off. So we're free balling the rest of this episode. Yeah, I'm happy I got this thing. Having a rock steel type is pretty useful because a lot of things are just normal types to begin with, and it makes it so much easier to, you know, deal with them if I have something that's four times resistant to them. So I'm happy with it. Plus, I never got to use this thing, and I wanted to a little bit, anyways. Ugh, more freaking cave. Alright, we're gonna run away from it now. I think we're probably strong enough to where we can run away pretty easily. No. 
Of course, it's it's the Zubat clone. You can't run away. There we go. Okay, that's that guy looks like he's gonna have a Mankey. It's another Grozard. All right. So important question: Can we? Does it have Arena Trap still? Okay, no, it does have Arena Trap. All right. Well, uh, here's where the problem comes in. I only have six uses of Tackle left, and that thing actually has a move. This this thing's actually gonna attack me this time. But I should be able to... Yeah, I can do enough damage. Assuming it doesn't, you know, make me miss every single one of my frickin' attacks. Alright, good. Please be enough. I don't want to have to... One more. Alright. We can get in one more. Maybe not. God, this thing's annoying. This thing is so frickin' annoying. Okay, thank goodness. Alright, so Sex with Mom can't actually fight anymore because he's out of PP for his move. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. No way it's going to be. Okay, good. Not another Grozzard. See, that's the thing about it. It's basically force experience. I, I can't not fight them. I have to fight them. I don't have an option. And this thing's just going to sit here and keep poison gassing, gassing me. Or attempt to, anyways. And I'm going to keep running. So this guy looks like a fighter. Meaning we're going to bring out Neon for this. Just because I'd rather not have to switch into Neon to get Sex with Bomb out. Or... He has Xbox and experience, and it's just it's a little ridiculous to do. Let's see what he's got. Mankey! Alright, exactly as I expected. This is pretty obvious that that was what he's gonna have. It's the only fighting type I've seen so far this game. So, it's pretty it's pretty obvious that that would be what it was what he was gonna use. So he's focus energy. Okay. Well, we're just gonna gust you and then hope we'll be done. Oh good. Not even a critical hit. That's that's good. I'd really rather not get hit by a critical hit. Those are those are not fun. Very not fun. A basu. Basu. I don't know what Pokemon that is. Oh, it's that thing. It's a sheep. I don't know what type it is. At all. I'm gonna assume it's not an electric type. Okay. It's a fighting type, got it. Yeah, that's the other fighting type in this. It's a it's a fighting sheep. So okay then. I'm gonna just beat it up and be done. Alright, Neon, you are way too strong right now. <laughs> like, yeah, he's getting a bit too high up there, so I should really stop using him. I'm gonna switch back into Dixie. And keep Sex with Bomb out, because just, if another one of those things shows up, I, I'm i not gonna be able to fight it. Like that. See, I, it's like I knew it was gonna show up, too. Uh, Alright, so can we run? Nope. Okay. Well, let's try Low Kick. I know it's a ground type. That's, that's what I'm well aware of. All right, and yeah, that's not going to be any problems. I got this thing. One more low kick is going to finish it off, so we don't have to deal with that thing anymore. Now let's get going up. Oh, there's an item over there. All right, it's just a Tonami. I Tonami. I can run for run away from it. Grab the item. It's a great ball. Sweet. I'm going to probably use that at some point. Right, is this the exit of the cave? No. Alright. Well, at this point, I'm just going to call it here. Call this episode here. Just because there's... The, we're still stuck in the cave. I was thinking that, you know, once we got to the end of it, we'd be out of the cave and everything. But, I don't know. I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all again next time. Peace out.